Hey there, beautiful. Today's wig is brought to you by Wow Ebony. Thank you so much, Wow Ebony, for sending me this wig. I'll be sure to see the link below to this wig and also their direct store. In the box, it did come with some goodies. It came with a wig cap. This wig cap come with two pieces. Stick band. It just helps make your wig more secured on your head. Also get a card with their contact information on it. They have an email, telephone number, also a Skype. And on the inside of the card, it comes with some helpful tips on how to apply your wig and if you ever wanna return your wig, the policy. And they also send me some needle and thread, which is really nice. It's really helpful if I ever wanna sew down my wig. So here's the wig. It comes in this long, clear plastic baggie. So the wig that I have today from Wild Ebony, the name of it is a 360 lace wig, SKU 360KS04, hair type Indian Remy hair, length 20 inches, color 1B, size medium, hair density 180. Here is the wig straight out of the package. The hair is very, very soft, oh my God, and very long. The hair come with no odor. It smells totally fine. The texture is so nice. You could see all that kinky texture. What's really nice about it, even though it's really kinky, it's not dry, it's just really soft and coarse. <laughs> so like I said before, this is a 360 lace wig. So you have lace that comes all around that you have to cut. Please cut the lace, ladies. Do not go outside with the lace. <laughs> so on the inside of the wig, you have a lot of parting space. You get three combs. More towards the middle, two in the front, one in kind of center of the head. You also get a comb in the back with your adjustable straps. And the hairline comes a little bit pre-plucked. It's really not bad. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> but here is the wig popped straight on my head. I did cut the lace all around. This hair is very, very thick. If you guys watch my affordable hair reviews, even though I didn't review Otranisha, this is what it reminds me of. This hair is very full, ladies. So I didn't pluck the hairline at all. This is how the hairline comes. It looks pretty natural, but if you want, you can always go ahead and pluck it some more. So with this hair, all I did was part it in two. And don't worry about them tracks showing in the back because you could see my cap underneath. This is not a full glueless wig. It does have some tracks in it. I am just going to do two little ponytails with this wig. Keep it nice and simple. And then I'm going to come and give you guys my thoughts on this wig. So right now I'm about to apply my Maybelline Mineral Powder in the color dark and sorry about how I applied it on camera. I had no idea how much out of the camera I was till now so I am so sorry.
as for the sides I didn't want to I really didn't want to use got to be glue gel tape I didn't want to so I try to avoid that as much as possible so I would probably wear it like this right now and honestly I feel like this will make a really 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 cute cheerleading style for um Halloween in my opinion go Kara go body by Kara go so you guys my quick honest thoughts on this wig honestly honestly I am really feeling this wig I love the texture oh my god it is so soft and coarse it is so nice and sometimes there's like some coarse hair out there that feels so coarse that it feels dry this one feels just right as you can see the wig isn't shiny at all it has like a natural luster which is really really nice oh my god this wig feels so good i wish you guys could touch it as for the density the density is really really thick you guys like really thick so if you're a fan of thick coarse hair i totally recommend this wig as for shedding i didn't get that much shedding the shedding was very very minimum as for tangling no tangles you could actually even use it i was using these two combs to style it and this comb was going through it like it was nothing like it feels so good one thing I am going to end up doing with this wig is flat ironing this wig. So whenever I do flat iron it, uh, I'll probably just upload it on Instagram because this hair is just way too thick for my liking. So I had to think quick and just hurry up and put this wig in two ponytails. To show how it do flat iron, I would do that in the preview of the Instagram video. Or if it's like... I don't know if it's a really good video I'll probably upload it on YouTube too like a quick um two minute video nothing extra like I really feel like this wig flat iron will look so nice especially with the amount of parting space you get look at all that parting space that parting space is honestly about five inches five or six inches deep I really really like it and one thing I love about the lace the lace is like really soft there's no line of demarcation. As you can see, it blends right through my skin. So that's like pretty much all I have to say. The only issue I have with the wig is how thick it is. It's like so thick, I really didn't know how to style it. I just thought quick and did this. So thank you so much, Wild Ebony, for sending me this wig. I told, like I said, if you love thick hair, I totally, totally recommend this wig. There's nothing bad about this wig. Because I don't know how to style it, don't mean it's bad. I'm just having a hard time styling it because it's just so damn thick. But otherwise, I really like it. So, as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Later, you guys.